What would happen if we send all our garbage into space? One of the biggest problems of our time is garbage. People around the world toss out 1.2 billion tons of garbage annually. This waste accumulates on Earth, harming human and animal health as well as the environment. So why don't we just send all this rubbish to be incinerated by the sun? Before I answer this question, you should understand how much garbage we are actually talking about. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. That being said, let's begin. Astronomical Amounts of Waste If you loaded all the garbage accumulated in a year onto trucks and lined them up bumper to bumper, the line would be wrapped around the Earth's equator multiplied 24 times. Every day, people from all over the world leave 3.2 million tons of garbage to be hauled off to landfills. And the situation is only getting worse. According to forecasts, by the year 2100, people would throw out three times more rubbish than they do now, reaching 10 million tons per day. If you are wondering where all this garbage is coming from, think about this. People throw away 99% of all purchased items within six months of their purchase. Nowadays, we already need one-seventh part of the whole land to lead a normal life and store garbage. So it is not surprising that some people suggest that we send garbage into outer space and get rid of it. Although it may sound like a good solution, there are a number of obstacles to making this plan work. Firstly, people would have to run all the garbage directly into the sun. And although this fireball is very large, it is also very far from us. Such a mission would be incredibly expensive and mishaps could be quite dangerous. Therefore, the calculations would have to be incredibly accurate in order to avoid disaster. Scientists would have to predict all possible dangers and accidents, which would be nearly impossible. The fact is that if something goes wrong, all of the garbage would become like meteors orbiting the Earth. Space Junk Space missions, satellites, rockets, and space station parts cause dangerous traffic in our orbit. Unfortunately, the presence of space debris has become a serious problem for working satellites and even threatens space station security. They could seriously injure astronauts working in outer space. By now, this refuse has already damaged several satellites. For example, in 1996, a French satellite became the victim of collisions with Ariana rocket debris sent into orbit 10 years earlier. As a result, the satellite was knocked out of its orbit. The situation with space debris is so critical that the USA formed an organization called Space Surveillance Network, which follows space debris and calculates satellite routes to avoid unexpected meetings. The worst thing about space collisions is that if one satellite is violated, it could cause the rest of the entire system to shut down. Many satellites work as one component of an elaborate system, and if one part breaks down, the whole system goes down. For example, damage to one GPS satellite can disrupt bank systems, financial organizations, and airport control services. Such a collision might even cause a GPS navigator in your cell phone to stop working. After a while, all this space debris must fall to the ground under the influence of gravity. How is space debris managed? On average, it takes less than 32 years for orbital decay to occur. Since scientists do not want to risk satellite collisions with populated areas, they often manage the satellites in a couple different ways. For the closer satellites, engineers will use the machine's last bit of fuel to slow it down so it will descend out of orbit, beginning to fall at thousands of miles per hour, quickly burning in the atmosphere. For further satellites, engineers knock them even farther away from Earth. The incineration method works well for smaller objects, but what about larger things like space stations and spacecraft? Spacecraft operators plan for large debris to land in a remote area of the world. In fact, this particular area, a remote spot in the Pacific Ocean, is even nicknamed the Spacecraft Cemetery. Problems with incinerating Even when debris falls into uninhabited territories or simply burns in the atmosphere, it still poses a serious threat to people in the environment. Burning a waste product creates dioxins, very toxic chemicals which can cause serious diseases like lung disease, heart disease, and even cancer. 
Now you probably understand why throwing garbage into outer space is not the best idea. But this is not the only reason. The second disadvantage of this idea is the cost of transportation. Let's calculate this. It takes $90 million to launch a medium-sized rocket. Its carrying capacity is 63 tons, which means that if people need to get rid of the total garbage collected per year, approximately 18,250,000 rockets would be needed. Multiply that number by 90 million and you get a project worth more than a quadrillion dollars. In addition, these super expensive rockets would never turn back. And don't forget that in order to be able to launch these rockets, a territory with the length of the USA would be required. That's why running garbage to the sun or even into the orbit of the Earth would not help humanity. So, we will have to deal with our problems ourselves. But don't worry, scientists around the world are working hard on innovative solutions to dispose of garbage. Let's explore these ideas. Building Bricks from Garbage Soon, machines may be created which would create bricks from industry waste. But unlike already existing ones, these new machines would create complex designs resembling puzzle pieces which subsequently would be used in new construction. Such machines would also be able to build windows, dome walls, and arcs. Thus, transparent plastic would be used as a window, metals would be used in load-bearing structures, and organic waste would be used to make temporary scaffolding which would later decompose. Recycling Sweden is known with its effective recycling methods. The country manages to recycle 99% of all its waste. Swedish residents sort the garbage and take it to special stations for processing or simply leave it in special containers next door. This is not all though. Sweden even imports garbage from other countries. It may sound a little strange, but Swedes burn this imported garbage using it for energy. The first recycling plant was built in Sweden back in 1904. Today, 32 recycling plants are located in the country. The most interesting thing is that Swedes are able to reduce heavy metal emissions in the atmosphere by as much as 99% compared to 1985. The amount of garbage burned has tripled. Half of all Sweden's garbage is disposed at these plants. And as garbage costs nothing, it can become a cheap alternative fuel. Of course, after burning it, ash remains, but this is only 15% of the original garbage volume. Factory workers separate the ashes from the metal and send it for further processing. As for tiles and porcelain, these are used for road construction. The remaining 1% of the garbage goes to landfill. Remember that poisonous gas is released when burning garbage. So at Swedish recycling plants, there are special filters which prevent the gas from being released into the atmosphere. Nonetheless, this strategy has its drawbacks. For example, some argue that burning garbage contradicts the process of processing it. For example, paper can be recycled six times before it turns to dust. In addition, burning materials to fuel the production of new material is more energy intensive than recycling existing things. However, the Swedes are working on this issue. Sweden urges companies to make sustainable products with longer lifetimes. Biodegradable Plastic In 2016, the world got amazing news. Bacteria living in Japan's landfill seem to have acquired a taste for polyethylene terephthalate, a general-purpose plastic used for manufacturing plastic bottles. In other words, bacteria produce enzymes that decompose plastics much faster than Mother Nature's traditional decomposing rate. Instead of 450 years, the breakdown takes only a few days. It is not surprising that scientists are working on the creation of an artificial plastic decomposing enzyme to begin its mass production. Such an enzyme would decompose plastic into constituent components very quickly. If research were successful, such an enzyme could certainly be the solution to the problem of plastic garbage. Plastic bottles would undergo a full processing cycle. This would also reduce the need for drilling new oil wells, as new plastic products would simply be created from old ones. It seems that our future is not so gloomy after all. What about you? Do you sort your garbage or do you just look for ways to minimize your waste production? Leave us a comment and please like this video and share it with your friends. Click to check other cool videos right now. See you next time.